What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so in this one, we're gonna talk about um, wrestling BJJ or BJJ Judo. Which, what's better? <laughs> Okay, so let me read you guys the question that inspired, uh, you know, this video. This is for Matt. Uh, it's it might not be Matt. It might be something else. But I can only word I, I can only read the first three letters because it's spelled in a different language. So, anyways, Matt, here's your question. Let me read it to the, the people, the peeps. That's awesome. Uh, that you aim for a double black belt. He's talking about me. <clears throat> talking in, in another video about how. Uh, my goal now, my goal is to get double black in, in BJJ and in Judo. So anyways, uh, I am aiming for the same thing, but for now my Judo is on the back burner uh, schedule wise and I just do Gi BJJ. I am a four stripe blue belt and I train wrestling on and off. <clears throat> I have several questions. Uh, first question, should I wait for my purple belt to start training in Judo while still training uh, BJJ? Uh, nope, nope. So I'm just gonna answer that question quickly. This is actually not the first time I do this video. This is like the third or fourth time because I did it and then I swallowed my words, I lost my thought patterns, and uh, yes, yeah, so I put a lot of thought into this. Uh, so let me just answer that first question. No, you don't, uh, you shouldn't wait, in my opinion, um, because the, the sooner you start judo, the more, uh, the, the better off you'll be because one, it takes time to get good at judo. Two, uh, also because it's going to carry over right away to BJJ because of the gripping and uh, a, a, a couple of other uh, things as well. Because in judo, you have um, strangleholds, you know, chokeholds and uh, submissions and uh, immobilizations that are approached very differently because of the rule set. That are gonna be, uh, they're gonna catch a lot of BJJ players off guard, and like I said, the gripping too. That's like next level. You know, most BJJ guys uh, who don't know any judo don't know how to grip, so that is gonna give you huge advantage. So definitely, judo right away. Don't wait. Don't wait. Do it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, off to the second question. If one must do two arts, what combination is better? Wrestling BJJ or Judo BJJ? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let me just finish reading the question, guys, and then after that, I'm going to elaborate. <coughs> um, da -da 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 -da. The reason I am asking is that, is that I tried doing wrestling BJJ and it helped my BJJ a little, but I felt that I wasn't getting better in wrestling. In your opinion, should I do Judo BJJ to a good level, like brown belt uh, or black belt, and then try wrestling, and maybe I'll be better at wrestling? Uh, I'm 34 years old, and wrestling seemed more taxing on my body than BJJ and Judo, and I don't want to overtrain. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, when you enjoy, uh, you know, these grappling arts like, uh, like we do, like I do, <coughs> and you want to do all of them, Man, it's taxing on the body. And also, here's the thing. If you do too many things at the same time, and I'm guilty of this and I'm managing this my, my, myself as well, is that it's hard for you to get good at uh, everything at the same time, at the same rate, right? Um, and if you try to, you're just gonna, it's just gonna slow down progression for everything. <laughs> now, with that said, what I've noticed is that high level judokas always, uh, when they go to wrestling, when they take up wrestling, it's very easy for them to, uh, to transfer to, there's a lot of good carryover. Like their skill sets that they develop in judo works very well after that in wrestling. Cause now they even have more tools, more throws, more sweeps, more, you know, all kinds of stuff that they can use in judo, uh, in wrestling, I mean, that that's not uh, true if you, were to do, if you were to do the opposite thing, which is wrestling and then try to go to judo, okay? I've never seen that work out uh, as well. Like, it's always, I've seen the judokas come, go and do and wrestling, and they dominate it, or they, and they picked it up very fast, very fast. So, 
just to get to the point quick, I would actually do judo BJJ because those are going to have like immediate benefits for each other, right? Right off. And then after that, focus more on wrestling later on, okay? And even if you were to do all three of them at the same time, like I'm doing now, what you would have to do in that, in, in, in that instance is that you would focus more energy on judo and BJJ and then don't give your 100% at wrestling. Just go light, go technical. So, you know, you keep your 100% for judo, BJJ, and then you keep, you know, like, you keep it at 50% intensity or less for wrestling, you know? And you pick up what you pick up. Now, to answer your question in regards to, um, when, when you mentioned that in, in, when you were doing wrestling and BJJ, like you're, you did, it wasn't really, the wrestling wasn't really benefiting your BJJ. And from where I'm standing, like it kind of makes sense because in wrestling, wrestling is the complete opposite rules, opposite of BJJ in a sense that first of all, wrestling, you don't have a gi. BJJ, you have a gi. BJJ, you fight off your back. Wrestling, you're not supposed to be on your back. So that's that. And uh, in BJJ, it, it continues on the, it's, it goes, it start, well, it didn't start on the floor in competition, but in Randori, you know, you just hang out on the floor. That's when it starts, when, it, when, when the fight hits the floor, that's when it starts. In wrestling, guys are fighting like heck to uh, take the other one down and pin them, you know? So a, a big part of it is they're fighting standing up, you know, shooting for their singles, their doubles, you know, scrambling out of positions and, uh, you know, they don't want to get pinned. And yeah, so it, it's different. So a, 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 a big chunk of it is actually spent um, standing up, trying to fight for the takedown to get the dominant position, a lot of scrambles and all that. Whereas BJJ is like, no, like, you know, once it hits the floor, that's when it starts, right? At least in competition. In, in class, of course, people start like, uh, you know, already on the ground. Mm, and also, oh, wrestling, there's no submissions, right? There's no submissions. Whereas BJJ, there is submissions. So that's why like, it's, it's uh, uh, it, it, your, your, your wrestling hasn't so-called improved, uh, you know, your BJJ. And at the same time, if you're doing both, your wrestling really has to improve because, well, maybe, you know, um, I'm just taking a wild guess here, but maybe um, you don't wrestle as much as you do BJJ, right? That, that's, that's how it would make sense because you have to stay with, the, with, with a very uh, simple principle is that the thing that you practice the most is what is going to, you know, uh, you're going to get better at. So if you practice more BJ, you do both at the same time, but your focus is more on BJJ, then your wrestling is going to suffer. Like to get good at wrestling, you got to, like, honestly, if you do wrestling like once a week, it's not enough, man. You got to do it at least, it'll take you forever uh, to, to get really good at it. I think that you should do it at least, if you want to get good at it, at, at least twice a week, at least twice a week. So I don't know if you're doing that already, but that's just my, my uh, uh, from my experience and what I think. Mm, so definitely, I would say that the better combination in regards to what you want to do, what I feel that you want to do, which is essentially to do all of this because it's all fun, <laughs> okay, is judo BJJ because of the carryover that's like right, uh, had, that happens right away, okay? And then if you do train uh, wrestling, then of course you just do it just to stay in the game, so to speak. So you still, you're still learning, but at a slower rate, but your focus is there. And then after that, when you do have time, then you could increase the wrestling a little bit, you know, uh, here and there. But you know, it's better slow progression than no progression, in my opinion. And so between the two, I would pick, because, ah, man, you know, it's, it's a hard one. I understand, you know, I understand because wrestling is fun. It's really fun as well, you know? Uh, but you can't get, do you can't necessarily get good at everything at the same rate all at the same time so that's the thing um so i would suggest definitely 
do all three if possible. But like, that's a really good idea that you have to do BJJ and Judo first. And then after that, maybe take up wrestling later on. But if it's possible for you to do all three of them, then you your your big attention is on Judo and, um, and, um, and, and, and BJJ. And after that, the wrestling, just keep at it once a week or whatever. But understand that, you know, it's going to take more time. But that's okay. Like, it depends what your goal is, like what you're trying to compete in and all that. And you gotta remember, like, wrestling too is, 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 is pretty tough on the body, man. Um, I'm, surpri- I'm kind of surprised that you don't find judo hard on your body, but that's great if you don't, because I, I find it's really hard on mine. Um, so I hope that answers your question, man. A little bit, I'm, um, you know, sometimes I ramble. Uh, actually, not sometimes, like every single time. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope that, got, that made sense. And um, guys, help us out. What do you, what do you think? Uh, you know, put it down below. So, uh, you know, and don't forget to like, of course, comment, um, subscribe to the channel, notification bell. You know, if you guys need help with your health and fitness, you know, reach out to me. All the information is down there. I, I do that for a living. And um, that's it, guys. So, love you. Peace.